So this new J. Cole album have just came out and it is fucking amazing. Now, I am not the biggest J. Cole fan. I wasn't even really into his music like that. I kind of felt like that he was the biracial, watered down version of Kendrick Lamar. But he really came out on his own on this album. And I would like to argue that this album is better than Damn. Now, of course, J. Cole is a person who comes from South Carolina or North Carolina, who was originally born in Germany to a white mother and a black father, kind of like Drake. And to tell you the truth, I thought K.O.D. meant Kendrick or Drake uh, because those are the two people he reminds me the most of. But back to his story, he released a ton of successful mixtapes and also grew in a bunch of fans with his uh, 2014 Forest Hill Drive album and, of course, Born Center. He really had that whole religious themes throughout his album kind of like Kendrick but kind of like Kendrick Lamar and also a Kanye West except I think he kind of outdid them both with an album like this starting off with an intro track that's kind of like jazzy and bluesy and have a female vocals that kind of does this like talking thing that you'll hear throughout the album it's a pretty amazing start to an album and it's the only like um thing that has like an intro outro one of those things where it's a pause or whatever that actually matches up to what it's supposed to be like the um outro and the interlude are just pretty much songs there's nothing really special about them but this one it actually matches it up Okay, so you have KOD, which could stand for like three things. Kids on drugs, killing our demons, king overdose. But yeah, you have KOD, which which of course have a cool line where he says, if practice makes perfect, then I'm practice, baby. Like, I really thought that that was a pretty cool line. And he also addresses the whole point of why he never really have features on his album because he want to stand alone and do it by himself which i can really appreciate and really like about j cole like that's something no features in 25 years like that's amazing really amazing record also when you have the song photograph which actually captures the whole idea of actually thirsting over a person because of a photograph and i really think that it captures the whole point that we're living in a technology based world like it's amazing but one thing i like to point out about this track is that his flow kind of matches like the flows that triple x Kentashion and also ski mask the slump god would use like his flow reminds me of triple x Kentashion on look at me and ski mask the slump god on uh baby wipes like i really thought that that could be but on the whole baby wipes reference he did reference like babies several times and kids several times on this whole album so it could be intentional that he's kind of similar to uh ski master slump god's flow but whatever um you have a song like cut off which talks about cutting off like friends who are moochers and bad for you like i really thought the track was awesome very nice he talks about how he had his friend that actually had um dogged him when he's broke but now he's rich he's asking for all this money and stuff like that and it's an amazing track i really love it you have a song like atm which really talks about how his mother couldn't afford an abortion and that's why he's living today and it also talks about money and how you can't take it with you when you die but you can't live without it when you live like i really thought that that was a very amazing and effective quote to how the capitalistic system really got you and i love the whole idea that he um, takes his misfortune and flips it into fortunes. Like, I really thought that that was a pretty awesome line. Very nice um, little uh, verse right there. On the song, like, Motivate, I really like the reference to, like, uh, B.I.G. on the song Get Money. Like, it samples the song Get Money from Junior Mafia. Very nice. And I really like the natural hair reference. It kind of reminds me of Kendrick Lamar when he did something similar on the song Be Humble. 
except he's talking about not having uh, photos altered, which kind of could tie into the whole idea of photograph. Like, I really love that whole track. Also, on the song Kevin Hart, it could be named that because uh, Kevin Hart was a cheating dog who actually cheated on his wife. He actually cheated on his mistress who he married after he cheated on his wife. So he's a super, super dog. And I know that it's spelled in a way that doesn't spell his name, but come on. Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, you, you get what I'm saying. On the next track, you have Richard Pryor, which kind of really makes me, uh, you have a sample by Richard Pryor, which kind of really makes me think this track was really about Kevin Hart because Kevin Hart called Richard Pryor the king of comedy. And Richard Pryor is talking about money and how he has a unbelievable amount of wealth and that people wouldn't believe him on this track, which was very nice. And I really like the idea that he puts on this track where he says that the people who write history always seems to write out their sins or write their sins. Like that was a very nice line right there. But J. Cole is making sure that he's not like blameless in this whole world as he has a line in Kevin Hart where he says that he done that everything that he, uh, that's wrong come to light and he done so much wrong that you might turn blind when it comes. I really thought that that was a nice line. Um, once a, once an addict talks about how his mother was affected by his father remarrying and she turned to drugs and alcohol, which I really thought that that was a very nice tale and story that he told. Um, Friends addresses how his friends are using drugs and he's telling him that you must meditate, not meditate, not medicate, which I really thought that that was a pretty good cool little line. Like that was a very nice line right there. And J. Cole also explains that you can blame anybody for your problems, but the blame list will be so long that it will take up like 20 albums. And I thought that that was a very nice little thing to have in there. Like too many people blame other people for their problems and struggles in life. And it really like uh, it really cripples them in the end. Like on the previous track, J. Cole does a reference to how he wants to pay taxes on an app because he knows that his taxes are not going to stuff that he wanted. Like I thought that that was very nice. Okay, window panes. Window panes have a sampling of a little boy who I guess um, um, one of his family members die and he tells the story of how a little boy like this will grow up and wanting to um, kill people because he just want to kill the drug dealer who killed his grandmother or mother. You know, I really thought that that was a very nice and impressive story. And then you have a track like 1985 where he sneak disses and addresses Smoke Perp and also Little Pump, who both said fuck him. And then he explains that over the years when they fall out of relevancy and they lose all their money, then what will they do? And I really thought that he pretty much fathered them both. Like he, it, this was a very nice album. And I'm going to argue that the album is better than Damn, like to tell you the truth. This is a damn good album. I mean, damn, it was it was like great and excellent and nice and all, but I really thought it had filler tracks like God and kind of um, filler tracks like Yeah, Yeah, that shit like that. This is all killer, no filler. I really love the, the album and I'm going to give it a nine to tell you the truth. This is an amazing fucking album and I love it. J. Cole really made us wait for this and it was it was worth the wait. Like, I really love it. So how did you all feel about this album? What do you all have to say about it? And I can't wait until my friend rap reviewer comes out with his review because I'm really anticipating that. So, yeah, remember, please like, subscribe and share this video. Now, how did you feel about J. Cole's newest album please post in the comment section because this is all flames i have to say this was fucking shit man and yeah and i think avicii just died like damn
Jesus.